all the uh, uh, individual comp uh, unit pro uh, technologies, but I will talk about how to integrate these uh, technologies and to uh, develop sustainability in society. So one in seven of the world's population doesn't have the access to the affordable, safe drinking water. But the key point is, this number, the ratio is reducing. Owing to that, the, all the international efforts to reduce the ratio of that who, the person who doesn't have safe, uh, access to the safe drinking water. In the past, it was said to be the five in, uh, one in five of the world population. Oh, I have many time for 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah, and okay, maybe, okay. <laughs> And uh, this one is, I had a collaboration with uh, some newspaper in Japan to that how that all the people in the, all the world are using the water. And this is the Kenya, Africa, that the, this family consists of 11 uh, people and uh, uh, nine kids, and they use only 40 liters for taking bath. And uh, not only that the uh, water for a living, but the we are using a lot of water for the agriculture and industrial purposes, and that is estimated to be increased by 40% compared to 1995 to the 2025. And we can, the human being cannot use all the water available because we have to reserve some water resources for the aquatic ecosystem. And now we are aware that the soundness of the aquatic ecosystem or the biodiversity will support the human being society. And but as you see that we are facing two problems nowadays, but the situation will be exacerbated due to that the climate change and urbanization. All, both of them will uh, worsen the situation or the increase the risk of flood, droughts, and storm surge. And this is an estimation of the change of available, available fresh water resources compared to the 20th century to the 21st century. And red region, the most of them are the very uh, good uh, croplands to produce the wheat or corn, but they, the water resource in this region may be reduced. And, and this one is not only the climate change, we need to think about that how the human water demand will be increased. And as you see, due to the mainly the population and economic growth, India, China, and still some parts of Europe and North America, the water uh, demand will be increased. As a result, number of people and seriously uh, water stretch, uh, living in a seriously water stretch region will be increased till the middle of this century. After that, that highly dependent on the, what the society we go, like the population will uh, become the 15 billion or that, that will be reduced. And there are the adaptation options and you see the many technologies and uh, political uh, measures can reduce the water crisis. And I will a little bit talk about the virtual water trade. If you have, if, if you do not know this word, this is time for you to learn. This is the global virtual water flow. That the, you see the Middle East and Northern Africa, they are in, importing a lot of food. Then they don't need to allocate their very precious water resources to produce the food. Then the importing food means that importing of water. That is the virtual water trade concept. And uh, this short presentation, I talked about only water, but the water shouldn't be considered alone. Water, energy, and food are very much interrelated. I put these Chinese characters because, mainly because that the, in, in flight movie, I was looking at the angels and demons and said the four elements. Anyway, that the water, energy, and food, they are very much interrelated now. They are not independent. So we th should think both at least water and energy and food together to support the sustainability in a society. And how the science and technology can save the aqua planet. I think many uh, aspects we can help monitoring the changes, project the changes, assess the impacts, and examine possible adaptation options and support the decision making and policy development. As a, uh, at the end, that the, in China, I heard that there is this uh, proverb saying that when you drink water, think its origin. And it turned to that the, uh, you should not forget the person 
who owe uh, you owe to, owe to. But the, today I tell I told you about the virtual water trade. So when you eat, think about water. One kilogram of wheat needs thousand times of the amount of water to produce it. Or the one kilogram of the beef, it requires approximately 15,000 or the 20,000 of the uh, liters of water. So when you eat lunch, please think about water, not only the drinking water. Thank you very much.